On January 29th, 2023, I was uh, sexually assaulted by this man. We were at a party. We began drinking and smoking. Um, I eventually became tired and knew my limit with drinking, so I decided to go downstairs and lay down on the couch. The man who assaulted me then came down the stairs and asked me did I want to um, smoke with him in private. And I was like, yeah, sure. Um, we smoked together before, so I seen no problem with it. Uh, once we smoked, I felt weird. I felt like, you know, I had been drugged or something. So I decided to not want to smoke anymore with him. But he continued to sit next to me on the couch. And then he started touching me inappropriately, grabbing my behind while we were sitting on the couch and kind of like fondling me. And I told him, like, I don't like that. I feel uncomfortable and to stop. And before I knew it, um, his genitals were exposed. He was trying to make me touch him and he was touching me. It went from there to um, him trying to force himself touching on my private areas. I began to get up off the couch and try to move away from him. I ended up falling forward because I also I was intoxicated. I was four drinks in. He ends up pulling my pants off of me. He ended up pulling his pants down and inserting himself inside of me. After my rapist was done with me, he pushed me on the couch. He sat across the room on a couch and he, he just sat and watched me for about two hours. He just threw me back up there, threw a blanket on me and sat and continued with his evening after that. The whole time I'm sitting there feeling disgusted, I'm sitting there feeling angry. I felt like a valuable part of me had been taken. And I'm just here to prove that I had no reason to lie to DeMichael about the situation, who was my fiance. He was my boyfriend at the time. We were on the phone during the assault. Oh, Y'all gonna make me cry. <laughs> I still have nightmares about the encounter. Sometimes, you know, I have very bad anxiety around other people or when a man is behind me walking or, you know, even being too close to another man without knowing what, you know, he is capable of because what this one person did to me, what my rapist did to me is, it's hard even trying to trust another male to be alone with that person because I do not know what they are capable of. But I don't want to be seen as a victim. I want to be seen as a survivor because I'm still fighting. And I'm fighting for the justice that I, I know I deserve from what I've been through. <sighs> for me, I'm here for clarity. I'm here to leave feeling like I gained a piece of me back, like I gained a piece of power back as a woman. As any woman in the world, this is hard to face and go through when you feel like something so precious to you has been taken without, you know, you wanted it to. It's, it's hard. Akila, you describe a very horrible night uh, which happened to you. Why are you here today? I'm here um, to fight for my justice. I'm here to clear my name. And I'm here to show my fiance that I did not lie about being assaulted. I told him nothing but the truth. Um, your fiance does not believe you? No, um, he, I feel like he has a piece of doubt in the back of his mind and in his heart um, that he believes that this somehow was consensual and that it was not rape. Why, why would he think that? Because how the story is, um, he was on the phone at the time of the assault. I had come downstairs um, and I was on the phone with my fiance. We were talking. I was telling him like, you know, I'm gonna put my phone on charger and I'm gonna lay down. I'm tired, I'm drunk. You know, I need to, I need to chill out. Um, and my um, rapist came down the steps and he asked me like, hey, you wanna smoke? And I'm like, yeah, sure. You know, not thinking nothing of it, Steve. We've smoked before together. We've been somebody you knew. Yes, we've been alone together before. You know, I thought we were friends. I thought I could trust him. And then he turned into a predator before my very eyes. So when this is happening, you're on the phone with your boyfriend? Yes. My attacker muted the phone and he turned the TV off. What did you do uh, after this assault? Um. I ended up going to the hospital hours after, after the initial shock wore off. Um, ended up going to the hospital. I got probed and pried for seven hours with a rape kit, um, being, uh, you know, basically vulnerable, feeling exposed, feeling everything but great. And I also had a police report done. Um, the police came to the hospital? Yes, they took the report. Um, and nothing else has been done since then. No. 
No rapists being brought in for questioning, nothing. They didn't bring, because you, it's not like you said, hey, some guy, you I, had a name, you knew this person, they know where to find him, and he has not been arrested. No. Did, did you have any follow up with police detectives or police or anything? Um, I did end up going in for questioning like a week after the assault, they pulled me in. I did get talked to by a detective, a female detective, and she had the uh, audacity to ask me what was I wearing that night. And as a, as a victim at that moment, I felt very disrespected. I felt like it shouldn't have mattered what I had on that night. If I said no, that meant no. But, but this is a very traumatic yeah. experience for you. And this is, um, would you mind reading the highlighted part there? Sure. Um, while we were on the phone, I was being raped. I'm listening to you say, what's happening, Bay? Or, Bay, are you okay? And the entire time you're asking me that, I'm being raped, frozen, scared, and disbelief and everything else. That is exactly how I felt in that moment reading this message. Which is unbelievable that he's on the phone with you while you're being raped. Yes, on the phone. I can hear him in the back like, hey, what's going on? Once the TV went off and I guess he would mute it, the attacker mute the phone. He's like, hey, what's going on? Are you all right, babe, babe? And I'm just, I'm hearing this in the distance as I'm being taken advantage of. I would never lie about that. Did things, after you feel like he doesn't believe you, did things change between the two of you? Yes, they did. Um, we actually basically, you know, things were different. The vibe wasn't the same in the relationship. Um, more arguments started to occur. Uh, and he ended up cheating on me following in February, the very next month. He cheated on you after you were raped? Yes, the very next month. How did you find out he cheated on you? I ended up going through his iPad one day because I was at home. We lived together at this time, Steve. We had just moved in together the day after the assault. Unlock it, then I undisturbed the messages on the iPad and all his messages end up rolling in from Facebook. And I see one in particular with him talking to a girl. And later come to find out that he actually went to see that girl in February while I was at home freaking out by myself, alone, scared, everything under the sun. This man was out living his best life. You go through this traumatic experience. Mm -hmm. He doesn't believe you. No. Nope. He then cheats on you. Mm -hmm. Doesn't sound like a man that's gonna stand by your side. That particular night, it took me for a loophole. You know, she told me she was uh, intoxicated, that she wanted to get some rest, and she popped her phone up by the TV. You know, knowing that I could hear her background and how everything was going that day. Uh, one second, I hear her for TV. I hear her, you know, getting comfort. And then once the mic just turned off and the screen went black, it was completely muted. I couldn't hear anything, I couldn't see anything. But when I realized it, it was still connected, everything was still perfectly fine, we was on FaceTime. So about 30 minutes when I would go back, I doze off to sleep. And you know, something in my mind tells me to wake up. So I wake up and that's when I realized the phone had hung up at that moment. And when I called back, it was not it was no immediate answer. So I tried again, and by the time we got back connected, she was, uh, by that moment, she was so in shock of what had happened that she didn't know how to kind of approach me with it. So when she told me, I didn't know whether to believe it, if it was consensual or you know, where my mind would go. I was very confused on why she didn't scream my name or try to at least reach for her phone at the moment to let me know what was going on. And honestly, I can really say once I found out the story, I was hurt. Because knowing I couldn't get to her in that time, it kind of put a small thought in my head, like, you know, did she cheat? Was it consensual? Was it something that she just wanted to keep a secret and call it uh, rape at the moment? And just, just you know, try to not make me upset. So over the time after January came around, come when March uh, came in, I actually, uh, actually stuck out of my relationship and uh, cheated on her. You know, after the assault, uh, I did leave her in, her in the house for an entire week by herself and went to go see someone else in a different uh, state. Akila does believe that the reason I cheated is because of what happened to her back in January. 
And I don't want to say that that's the reason on why, but it's, but I could, but I'm saying so I could say that that's, that plays a part in it. Every day since then, I do regret my actions from doing so. Uh, so Akila is taking the light of the test to not only get thought out of my head, but out of, her, out of hers as well. So that way the table can be finally cleared and a lot of justice can finally be served on a lot of different aspects. I'm, 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 I'm really confused about one thing. If all this was really going on at that particular moment, why didn't you try to grab your phone when it was happening or as he came near you? Because when it went there, I never saw him come by the phone. I never even knew he was in the room with you. So the fact that this happened and you didn't attempt to reach for your phone or try to make, 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 make some type of sound to catch my attention really has me thinking that that's not what happened. My thing is, how you gonna say that unless you're laying there on that living room floor with me in that moment? You don't know how you're gonna react until it's you, and I pray and hope that everybody in here never has to go through that. You're in fight or flight mode. I was fighting for my life. If you're upset that I didn't call for you, I'm sorry. I'm upset that you cheated on me after I just got raped. Not you, but me. I was raped. Why, why, why would she lie about being raped? Um, I, I, I really don't want to hope and say that that's, that's his, her lying, but it's also that part back in my head to think, you know, you, you, you couldn't possibly have done everything you, you, you could. Can you imagine, you know, somebody raping you? I mean, it's, it, it, to me, when I think, when I try to put myself in her position, it's got to be the most one of the horrendous things a human being can experience. So right? then, you know, like the next day, you say you leave her alone for how many days? Uh, probably about two. Uh, I, I left on, on a Friday morning. And you left for two days. Yeah, and I came back by and Sunday. And you went and slept with somebody else. Right. So with this, I got to mention, this was already in the works before she got raped. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, honestly, it, it, uh, it really was. Your girlfriend comes home and says, hey, I was raped. And you didn't, like, break off the plans of, I, I planned on cheating on her. She just got raped. I'm going to call that off right now. Uh, I can honestly say, at the, at the moment, I wasn't thinking about it. It was, it was still something that I was willing to See, that's go really disturbing. Do. You want to marry this woman. Right. Yes, I do. So he say. That's what he say, but his action showed otherwise, Steve. Did you tell the other woman that you didn't know her? Uh, at the time, yes, because I was trying to defend myself and try to play both sides of the fence. Hopefully that... It, that's being stupid. Yeah. That's now, being childish. Now that's not being grown about it. it it's, 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 I, I can honestly say it, it, it wasn't. So that basically means you were lying to me the entire time we... Have you ever together. cheated on her since that one time? No. Mm. No. We asked Michael, other than the one time in February that Akila knows about, while in a relationship with her, have you had sexual physical contact with any woman besides her? He answered no. Other than the one time in February that Akila knows about, while in a relationship with her, have you had sexual intercourse with any woman besides her? He answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and it came back that the Michael told the truth. I told you. Ever said that, I told you. Akila, you took a lie detector test. Yes, I did. And we asked you, on January 29th, 2023, did you willingly engage in sexual contact with that man in question? You answered no. On January 29th, 2023, did you have consensual sexual uh, intercourse with that man in question? You answered no. Are you lying about any part of the sexual encounter with the man from January 29th, 2023. You answered no. The results came back all the same, and it came back that Akila told the truth. <laughs> um, this is just a lesson for everybody out there. When you're in love with somebody, you give them the benefit of the doubt and you believe in them until you prove them wrong, not the other way around. Correct. Um, I, I'm really sorry that you had to go through something like that. It, it happens all too many times. Um, I hope that being here today, taking this lie detector test, I hope you're able to go home. I hope the police 
will uh, kick this in the high gear and at least arrest this guy yes. so that hopefully you get some justice. Yes. Thank you. Do you want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show? Visit the link in the description to get my help.